Who and Frank Hopkins in the ocean of fire? Can you picture it? I am riding free on a beautiful Mustang through thousands of miles of sand. The sun on my neck and sand in my clothes. I can picture this, but this is not my truth. This is the story of Frank Hopkins and Hildago. My life has been spent with horses, and they are the precious creatures on earth. I know most everyone has a dream of being a fictional character or a hero. I find myself lost in the story and the similarities of one man's dream. I have spent most of my youth participating in horse races and barrel and rodeos. Mm -hmm. I find that horses are my life. First of all, let's talk about the type of horse that could achieve a thousand mile race through the Arabian Desert. Hildago was considered as a Spanish Pinto Mustang. Frank believed Mustangs were so smart they can they couldn't be any horse in endurance race. The Spanish Mustang is an American horse breed. These horses are said to have come from the early settlers of America. Here, um, Spanish Mustangs. The Spanish Mustangs helped shape this U.S. as we know it. Descended from the horse of the conquistadors, Indian buffalo hunters, and wild ponies. The wild horse of the Wild West. This breed has a rich and illustrative history that formed an important part of our American heritage. In today's society, we see the Wild West as a dream or a story, but the Hidalgo, the Spanish Mustang, lived a long life. His strength in his heart brought joy to not only his owner, but millions of viewers of the great Wild West show. Beauty and brains was not the only thing the Spanish Mustang had to offer, but his heart is the reason why we still talk about him today. We haven't discussed the Spanish Mustang and his heart. Now let's talk about Frank Hopkins and the Buffalo Bills Wild West show that they performed in. People around the world, mainly Euro Euro European countries, enjoyed the dramatic and savage ideas of the Wild West. So in 1883, William Frank, Will and F. Cody decide to make money from this idea. He created dramatic stagecoach captures running up Indians and much more from entertainment purpose around the world. Center of the West future such as the Pony Express, the wagon train, or the attack on the stagecoach reconnected Pacific and well-known events big like such as cowboy fun or taboo of American Indian life usually serve as such to a dramatic event such as a battle scene. There has been some suggestions that Frank Hop Hopkins was just a story writer and that this is all just a dream in his mind. Who wouldn't want to be a part of this dream? Picture yourself a top, on top of Hildago, rounding up thieves trying to steal a stagecoach. I can feel the rush of adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline and the thrill he might have felt. The Ocean of Fire, the Arabian race sound habilious at most. 3,000 miles would stand in the hot sun and your back would be devastating for anyone. A story of courage for one horse and his rider resides in the heart of the nation, the Ocean of of fire spanned 3,000 miles of scary desert. The bravest of brave died trying to display courage and honor. Frank Hopkins displayed slightly over 100 horses started 
the ride from 8 and into the 1890s. The ride proceed along the Gulf of Sierra, the, then the islands along the border of the two countries. The only feed available was vouchers, a plant that cured, proved to be very nutritious. Stan store temp riders and when they were into interest, the riders were halted. Fact or fiction. This audience the this endurance race wasn't for all faint of heart. Life is about proving courage and bravery and heart to continue the race to the finish. Factor fiction. Factor fiction. Frank Hawkins and Hell Doggle were heroes in my eyes. The excitement of a real, real Wild West experience. I find myself drawn into the drama and cowboys versus Indian details. We all have our own heroes and these are mine. Frank Hawkins was said to be the Wild West hero of our dreams and he and his horse helped him to walk into the the heart of fans around the world. Fact or fiction. Frank Hawkins conquered his dream, if only on paper, with his horse Doggo, a Wild West show, and 3,000 mile race in the Arabian Desert. Frank Hawkins may be my hero, but I get to, but I get to feel the wind in my hair and a horse under me on a daily basis. My freedom is in the ride. 